Hi guys, we're gonna react to a video that you guys have requested. This one is entitled Stimulation of a Nuclear Blast in a Major City. Of course, thank you for requesting this one. Please don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like, share if you want me to react, leave a comment below. Okay, it let's, has been let's two check and it out. Two years since I posted the trailer for my upcoming climate film. Two and a half. As many of you have noticed. Wow. Um, and I have been working on it almost every day ever since. Uh, so it's really close. Just an introduction to the video there. And stay tuned. I guess In he's the, the creator. Meantime, I do have something to share for you today. Um, I generally reserve uh, this channel for my own independent projects. But recently I've been working with the folks behind the Nobel Peace Prize. Ooh. And not only have they been wonderful to work with in terms of support uh -huh. and creative freedom, but they have allowed me to post the video here on my channel. Nice. Uh, so thank you to them and here's the film. Okay, so we're going to check out the film. Stimula Imagine stimulation of a nuclear, moment. stimulation of a nuclear, um, I guess, nuclear bomb in a major city. So it's going to be vast. The unimaginable happened. Wow. A major city is hit by a nuclear Four million is the average mm. weapon. Now, no number could account for all the devastation that would result. Why is this a restaurant? But we can put a number on the deaths. Oh gosh, the deaths, guys. Oh lord. I know for sure the, the, the old time warders had a lot of deaths. Um, and it was so devastating. I don't think we want to see this nuclear. At stuff. least we can make an educated guess based on our understanding of what nuclear blasts do to city structures and people. So this is this is a nuclear bomb. Assume the bomb is detonated in the air to maximize the radius of impact, as was done in Japan in 19. Oh, so the, if the bomb is deton detonated off the ground, it have a greater impact. I guess it's it's gonna. Five. But here we'll use an 800 kiloton warhead. 800 kiloton? Jeez, man! 800 kilotons! Yo! Relatively large. How do they get that thing up in the end in the first place? Bomb in today's arsenals. And a hundred times more powerful than the bomb dropped on Hiroshima. <laughs> Upon detonation, a fireball as hot as the sun would expand to a radius of 800 meters. Oh shit, yo guys, that is freaking unimaginable. Those near the blast would be vaporized. You know what is vaporized? Poof. Just poof. And within a two kilometer radius, all buildings would likely be destroyed and we'll assume that virtually no one survives inside this area. Wow. Who or why would a man be so cool or wicked to even think of invent? What is the purpose that you want to invent something like this? To have it on Earth, close to Earth, or even to send out into space? What is the purpose? There's no way that you can have such an enemy among anybody on Earth that you would need this, this catastrophic weapon. Come on! Which, based on population density, would start the death tally at 120,000 people. Jeez, man. 120,000 persons killed instantly. And mind you, we're not, we're not even talking about what happens after because I show nuclear bombing, radiation, and cancer, and all of this, you know. As you move further away from ground zero, Estimating deaths becomes more complicated. From as far away as 11 kilometers, the radiant heat from the blast would be strong enough to cause third degree burns Whoa. on exposed skin. And going blind too? Your eyes! And as you get closer to the blast, the heat becomes so intense that clothing, even skin, would ignite into flames. What the frick? Is this actually existing? The nuclear bomb? That said, most people in the city would be indoors or otherwise sheltered from direct exposure. But the very structures that offered this protection would then become a cause of injury 
as debris would rip through buildings and rain down on city Ooh, streets. Shit. Yo, let me just point out that this is so creative. This is so creative. This guy is so awesome. It's creative, man. As a rough estimate, we can assume that half the people between 2 and 11 kilometers from the blast are killed. From burns... This looks like an egg. Sorry. <laughs> I'm getting distracted now. This looks like an egg. <coughs> I'm sure you guys can see it too. It looks Ray, like an egg. Smoke, collapsed buildings, and radiation sickness. What I told you. Radiation, cancer. Which translates roughly into an additional half million people. Many of these deaths will occur days, even weeks after the attack. Radiation sickness takes about a week to cause death. And much of the dust and ash produced from the explosion will be dangerously radioactive, especially if it originated near Ground Zero. In the near Ground Zero, not when 911 had the, 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 where the, the Twin Towers were. They said a major city. Why are they specifying to the U.S.? So this can happen in any country, and it distance the particles travel will depend on the wind and other factors. Now, since this simulation is of an airburst attack, wow. it will produce significantly less radioactive fallout than ground attacks targeting missile silos or bunkers. So we'll go with a relatively small number of deaths outside the 11-kilometer range. If it were a surface blast, the fallout deaths could surpass all other deaths combined, but it's a very difficult number to predict. In really? theory, radiation deaths can be reduced if people can avoid exposure to the fallout, especially during the critical first few days. Fallout shelters were common during the Cold War, but people rarely build shelters today. But not just that, people would not be aware that this is coming. This would be like a surprise. This would be a surprise. And schools no longer practice nuclear war drills. We generally talk less about surviving a nuclear attack. It's like people just know if that happens, they're done. Because some of them would mentally die also. Because if this happens, this is going to affect their lifestyle, their, their, their economy. A lot of persons with natural disasters sometimes dies after when they think, 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 they go through this stressful time and they tie of heart attack, diabetes, all sort of complications. In a way, it's good that we're less afraid of the bomb now that the Cold War is over. When nations are less on edge, the risk of accidents is arguably reduced. But nuclear weapons remain one of the great threats to humanity. Yeah. And today, we're entering a new era in nuclear weapon history. I don't know why, honestly, they invented that. I don't see the point or the purpose. Why you want to eliminate such a, 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 a huge number of persons? What threat is so great? Long-standing nuclear arms treaties are being reassessed, and countries, big and small, face the prospect of new arms races. In the U.S. withdrew? The U.S. withdrew in 2018? Part because technology is emerging that may give one side a considerable strategic advantage, notably hypersonic weapons. Hypersonic, the top countries, US, France, China, India, India, Japan, Russia, Australia. Australia, so far, we're already including this. Current nuclear missiles travel around the Earth at high altitudes, making them visible by radar earlier in their flight. Wow. Damn. Now, some hypersonic vehicles travel close to the Earth, That's through worst. the atmosphere, at at least five times the speed of sound. That means they cannot be detected too, too good. Giving defending countries far less time to react. Shh. Bro, why you need this? And remember that some of the most perilous moments during the Cold War occurred when countries maneuvered to reduce their opponents' reaction time. Cuba. And the less time countries have to react, you know, no more one's seen, you know, really, Florida, the US, not too far from the Caribbean, which is where I am. It's really not too far. Likely an accident will occur, or a rash judgment. And then you have smaller nukes that blur the line between conventional and nuclear weapons. Hmm. 
providing a more slippery path to nuclear escalation. This is so unnecessary. Now, for ordinary citizens, this is so nuclear unnecessary. weapon policy may seem like a complex, even intimidating topic. But leaders often consider public perceptions when making policy. In many countries, voter opinion is an important factor. Whether you believe nuclear weapons have made the world safer or more dangerous, safer both sides generally agree that the bomb brings an unparalleled risk and that there are things we can do to reduce the risk. Like minimizing how many countries get the bomb, Why would a country or scaling bomb? back Cold War arsenals, or stabilizing technology races, or pledging to never be the first one to strike. Such ideas Gosh. have often resulted in signed treaties, some of which have held for decades. Some are at risk of expiring, and some just need a final push to become some activated. Just too. With China and India have made pledges, but India has made me back with every other nuclear country. Wow. Being steadfast in these efforts and not walking away from diplomatic achievements, we can continue the work of ensuring that this nightmare simulation never, never becomes a reality. Jeez, man. Never. That was a great video, of course. If you'd like to learn about specific policies that can help reduce the risk of Very nuclear good. war, very you nice. Can find links to resources of course, thank you for requesting it. Don't forget, please subscribe to the channel. The original video link will be in the comment section. If you want me to react to a video, leave a comment. Special videos like this, which might affect us all in the entire world. No country is too far away from us that will not affect us. Um, so we have to consider. Look at what happened with COVID. How we just became this massive world and we just come flips because of COVID, everyone gets affected. Everybody economy get, get affected, health, um, they're afraid a lot, a lot. So many persons got affected. And of course, thank you for your questions, video, subscribe, as I said, like and share, okay? Thank you so very much. Bye, guys.